Find the angle between the vectors, u equals square root of 3 plus 1, comma square root of 3 minus 1, and v equal to square root of 3, comma minus 1. What we'll do here is compare two definitions of the dot product. The first one, okay, this is the geometry. So u dot v is going to be equal to the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of the angle between them. If our dot product is positive, then we have a positive cosine. Okay, our angle is going to be between 0 and pi. Positive cosine means positive x value on the unit circle. So we have an acute angle like this. If u dot v is negative, then that's going to mean we're in the second quadrant on the unit circle. So we're looking at something like this. Now, the idea here is we can isolate cosine theta. Okay, I just divide both sides by length of u, length of v. So all I need to do then is find these three items. I get my cosine, and then I get my angle. First, u dot v. So here, what do we do? We take our two vectors, we multiply coordinate-wise, and then sum. When I do that, so what are we going to get? So here's x coordinates, y coordinates. We sum and then I wind up getting a 4. For u squared, same idea. We're just going to take each entry, square it, add, and then that's going to give us an 8. So for the length of u, I'm going to wind up getting a square root of 8, or 2 square roots of 2. Length of v, I'm just going to take the square root of 3 plus 1, so we get a 2. So we have our three items. So our cosine is going to be equal to 4 over 2 times 2 square root of 2, this gives me a 1 over square root of 2. I can clean that up by multiplying by square root of 2 over square root of 2. And that gives me square root of 2 over 2. So our angle is going to be a multiple of 45 degrees or pi fourths. Now, since we have positive coming out for cosine, this is going to be the angle between 0 and 90 degrees. So it's going to be 45 degrees or pi fourths.